Hi, welcome to Geeks for Geeks. In today's tutorial, we will talk about a problem how to reverse a string in Python. So, we are given an input string and we need to print its reverse order. For example, we have input string Geeks for Geeks and its reverse output which we need to print. So, first we will look how we can solve this problem in Python with three different approaches. First approach is very simple. In first approach, we will initialize an empty string at the very beginning and we will start traversing our string from end to start means in reverse order. So we will use a for loop and one by one we will pick element from end to start and concatenate all these characters in reverse order together to produce resultant reverse string. Second approach is using reversed inbuilt function in Python. Reversed is an inbuilt function in Python which accepts any iterable and returns list of items in reversed order. So to reverse a string using this function, we will pass our input string in reversed function and it will return us a list of characters in form of list. After that, we will join all these characters without space using join function to produce resultant reversed string. Third method is using extended slice syntax in Python. Now we will see how this extended slicing works in Python. So in normal slicing of any iterable list or string, we usually pass only two parameters, the start and end. But in extended slicing, we also pass another parameter named as step, which means that using this number of steps, we will proceed from start point to the end point of iterable list or any string. So let's see how its syntax looks like. The input str it will be our input string. And now we have passed three parameters, start, end, and step. Let's take an example to understand it more clearly. Suppose we have an uh, input string hello and we need to print it reverse order. So we will see how we can do this using extended slicing. So here in print statement, we have passed three parameters. First one is minus one. That means we are starting from the end point of our string. And in second parameter, we haven't passed anything so by default, that means it will traverse by default from the end point to the start of the string because we are moving from end to start. And third parameter is minus one. That means difference between the current and the next element will be one. So here in the output, you can see we have printed the reverse order of string hello. Now we will see all three approaches one by one. So our first approach was using for loop. So this is our input string geeks for geeks. First initially we will initialize an empty string named as result. And after that we will run a for loop from the end index of input string towards the starting index of our input string that is zero. So we will run a for loop for i in range length of input string minus one. That means the end in index of our input string comma minus one. Since in range function, second parameter is exclusive. So putting minus one here is mean that we will move from end index to zero, not minus one. And third parameter is minus one. That means the difference between the next element and the current element will be minus one and the differences between the index obviously. So in next line, we are simply concatenating current character to the string made so far. And in next line, we have printed the output result. So let's run this program and see its output. Yeah. 
yeah we can see the output string in reverse order now let's see our second approach which is using reversed inbuilt function again we have input string geeks for geeks and after that we have used the inbuilt function reversed and passed our input string in it so the reverse function will return list of characters in input string in reverse order after that in the final line we have simply concatenated all characters in a string without a space to form the resultant reversed string so now let's run this program and see its output also yeah we can see the output is the reverse order of our input string now we will talk about our third approach using extended slicing again we have our input string geeks for geeks and in print statement we have used extended slicing syntax so our input string is input str and in square brackets our first parameter is minus 1 that means we are moving from the end character of our input string and in second parameter we haven't passed anything that means we will move towards the end of the string means from end to start in reverse order because in third parameter we have passed the step equals to minus 1 that means difference between indexes of current element and next element will be 1 so let's run this program and see its output as well as you can see the output is the reverse order of our input string so guys that's it for today's tutorial if you have any queries please write down us in comment section Thanks for watching